hello good morning to everyone welcome to tech easy today in this video we'll see how you can uh, use google tv app see this is the google tv app how you can control your tv see here right now the tv is being controlled with this remote so i'll be opening the youtube here okay i'll tell you how you can get this uh, google tv remote and how you can make use of this uh, so you can play any song yeah see so i'll be clicking on the home button here you can increase and decrease the volume and even you can switch off the tv here with this uh, switch off button see here the power off button and there are swipe controls and the d-pad control see uh, swipe controls in the sense see observe the tv also okay uh, i'll click on these three dots and i'll click on to d-pad so first of all yeah first of all this is the thomson which is a google tv and this phone and this tv are connected to the same wi-fi okay first the thing is your phone and your tv should be connected to the same wi-fi and next on your tv you should have an app called uh, google tv remote so i'll be opening the play store and on the search what i'll go into search is uh, search as google tv you can search as google tv yeah see here it is already installed see here this is the icon uh, picture display picture and see here this is installed on my phone so what if you don't have this app on your mobile just go to play store and install it once you install this just uh, open this app so it is asking me to update so yeah let it update for a minute and this is the thomson tv what i'm using since for the past four years and this is doing good and the speakers are of jbl speakers sbl cinema uh, 240 which is 2.1 channel with 110 watts uh, if possible i'll be dropping those in the view products you can check yeah this got updated yes now i'll click on open as soon as i open this uh, my tv is already uh, my tv name is being here but but for you for the first time if it is for your first time your tv will be appearing here you need to tap on this and immediately you will get a pairing code on your tv and you need to enter that pairing code here remote it will ask will uh, it will give you a form here uh, and you need to enter that code once it is the code is paired you can use this remote okay uh, i need to clear this as it is not working so i'll be clearing all those and here you will get this icon see here this remote icon this is google tv remote you need to tap on this yeah see here you will see the remote here and you can operate now and one thing you need to remember this is the google tv so the google tv remote will be already available on this by default okay yeah if not try to open the play store here and search for the google tv app on your tv and here you may just search for google tv remote yeah and see here this is already being installed on my tv if not if your tv doesn't have this google tv remote app try to install this so now you have this remote app on your uh, mobile and on your tv that's the reason it is perfectly working fine and how you can get this tv small remote icon here at the tiles uh, see here you just need to uh, open this toolbar and just search for here if it is available here okay you then if it is not you need to click on these three dots and click on edit tiles and from here the tv remote is already added to my mobile that's the reason it is showing in uh, minus means red minus or else your tv remote this icon will be available here you can just click on this plus symbol assume that this is the tv 
uh, and here now it will be appearing here the one which I have added see this one here now you can adjust the placement over here and just minimize this ones and now see here uh, this battery power symbol is here likewise you can keep the remote here once you keep the remote now you can just access this by just clicking on one click and the remote gets opened now i'll just turn off this see the tv is getting turned off so in this way you can use google uh, tv remote 